Giuaco piano game, Evans accepted, Anderson variation, 6.d4. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well. Both players missed some big chances in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. Beginning the Italian game is bc4, which immediately begins to attack the f7 pawn and get ready to castle. bc5 attacks the f2 pawn and helps control the important d4 square. The Evans gambit starts with b4, which attacks the bishop on c5, if black captures this pawn white will play a quick c3 to attack the piece followed by d4. Bx b4 captures the b4 gambit pawn. c3 attacks the bishop on b4, prepares the d4 pawn push and allows the queen to develop on the queen side. b7 retreats the attacked bishop to safety. d4 attacks the e5 pawn, gains space in the center and opens the c1h6 diagonal for the bishop. It is the last book move. The pawn is now suitably protected. That's good. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. This misses a chance to build a knight outside of its beginning square. It is incorrect. This misses a great but hard to find move. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. Among the best actions. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. That's good. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. That's good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. That's good. This strikes the opponent's bishop. That's good. This misses an opportunity to move a bishop to safety. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This displays a queen attack. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is quite good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. There was only one good move there. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a knight. It is a mistake. This protects a rook that was being attacked without any defense. It is ideal. This misses a chance to threaten a rook and gain tempo. 
it is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. This places a rook on the seventh rank, activating it and putting the other side's king under pressure. It is quite good. This is a missed chance to capture an open file with a rook. It is incorrect. The bishop is now in a secure position. That's good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This misses a better way to strike at the center with a pawn. This permits the opponent to kick a knight. It is a mistake. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to double rooks on a single file. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. It is a mistake. This misses a chance to capture an open file with a rook. It is incorrect. This overlooks a better way to move a bishop to safety. It is incorrect. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is incorrect. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. That falls flat. Backs off. That's good. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. That's good. A powerful play. It is quite good. This misses a chance to pose a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This attacks a knight and gains a tempo when the knight retreats. It is quite good. This protects a knight who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is ideal. This fails to take use of the chance to improve a bishop's square and broaden its range. It is incorrect. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. This took advantage of a bad move and white is no longer in a losing position. It is a great move. Backs off. Black is equal at this point in the endgame. It is ideal. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. This allows the opponent to challenge the opposing rook for the open file. It is a mistake. This fights against the opposing rook for the open file. This is the only move that works. This took advantage of a mistake and black now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. It is ideal. This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. This misses the chance to provide an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. White is no longer in a losing position as a result of this game-changing action. It is a wise decision. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks a better way to evade the check from the opposing rook. It is a mistake. This activates a rook by getting it to the 7th rank and also restricts the opponent's king. This is the only good move. This was a game-changing move, giving white a winning position. It is a great move. A wise decision. It is quite good. This avoids the rook's check. It's compelled. Thus, a forced checkmate is possible. It is incorrect. This let the adversary to support a passed pawn with a rook. It is incorrect. A passed pawn can attempt to advance while being defended by a rook placed behind it. It is ideal. The rook is now on an open file, 
which helps control squares across the board. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is excellent. Thus, a forced checkmate is possible. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It's compelled. This keeps on until checkmate is reached. It is ideal. A rook is positioned behind a passed pawn as a result, assisting in its promotion. It is quite good. This continues the checkmate threat. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well. Both players missed some big chances in the end game.